Here's a great shot of the piers in the water as of April 2014 looking towards Wisconsin from Minnesota. Yes, welcome to the entrance of the brand new 2016 Bridge to the Future. That would be the St. Croix River Crossing, yes. Come join me. My name is Greg Sampson, local historian and filmmaker here in Stillwater, Minnesota, as we explore the Bridge to the Future, a modern bridge replacing a 1930s era lift bridge coming out of Minnesota, going over the St. Croix River, hooking up to Highway 64 all the way to New Richmond, Wisconsin. So come join with me as we continue on our journey on a bridge to the future, shall we? Here's another great shot of the piers in the St. Croix River, shot from the bluffs of Wisconsin. Looking at Highway 36, and of course the St. Croix River crossing bridge minus the bridge. Yes, the pieces of the puzzle for the brand new St. Croix River Crossing are coming right into place. And the building is going along just absolutely wonderful. It's so wonderful to see the progress here being made on a daily basis of the bridge to the future, the St. Croix River Crossing. Well, as you can plainly see, behind me here is Highway 64 coming across from the St. Croix River Crossing. And boy, the building is shaping up nice. Of course, they're putting a bridge over Highway 35, which is going from Holton over there to Hudson over there. This is the brand new Highway 64 connecting up from the St. Croix River Crossing Bridge, which is right over there, coming out of Minnesota. And it's quite exciting to watch as we continue on the journey, still on our bridge to the future. Here we are on the Wisconsin side. As you can plainly see, the scene here has changed considerably over the past year. This is Highway 64 coming out of the St. Croix Crossing and hooking up, going all the way to New Richmond, Wisconsin. But let's take a look back at what this scene looked like one year ago. Yes, we've now come to the Wisconsin side. journey quickly and see what it all looks like. Here's the sign. And as you can see, this is where the bridge is going to come out. And it's just a little county road right now outside of Wisconsin. And this is where the future freeway is going to go through connecting up. They've already got a freeway farther down, but not in this field as of yet. But walk with me quickly as we go to where the actual bridge is going to be. So as you can see, the St. Croix River Valley is right off there. The bridge is going to hook up to here and where this field is is where this brand new modern bridge is going to come through right through this forest and it will not hook up to that highway that's out there but instead it will go straight into that cornfield right over there obviously they uh, took out a few houses on this side because well there's still the mailbox right over here is a little campsite which I'm sure that will disappear but this is where the brand new Stillwater Bridge is going to come through into the Wisconsin side. This is where the St. Croix River Crossing Bridge will be coming into. This is what it looks like today, which is winter of 2014. But 
as of spring of 2014, they're going to come in with the big guns, plow everything out, and then we're going right into this field with a modern freeway. Well, if you're whizzing by at 65 miles an hour in a few years on uh, Highway 36 going across the St. Croix Crossing River Bridge, you can think of this day of what the St. Croix River Crossing on the Wisconsin Bluff side look like. As you can see right now, it's just kind of a basically a building site. So come explore with me as we continue on our journey. Stillwater Bridge, a bridge to the future. Shall we? We shall. Now, as you can see, one of the identifying marks here is this farm that's over here. Over there where the road close signs are, that was Highway 35. It's back, we are standing basically below and underneath Highway 35. And also, we've got Pepper in the shot. Say hi, Pepper! Quite a fascinating scene, to say the least. This was where I'm standing once, a very thick forest, much like that is over there. The St. Croix River is where the St. Croix Crossing is going to come from, and then it is going to hook up here in what is now a forest except for over here, which is now the brand new Highway 64, which was once a forest and a farm field. And as you can see, the concrete beams have now arrived for the Highway 35 bridge en route to Hudson, Wisconsin. Here is the unfinished Highway 64 East that will continue on and take you all the way on a nice modern freeway to New Richmond, Wisconsin. Well, things are shaping up nicely as we continue the transformation from a forest and a cornfield into a modern freeway and a bridge. <laughs> yes, I got to tell you a funny story. I'm on Facebook. Please join me over there if you'd like. On Facebook, when the very first beam arrived on these big cranes, they posted a photo saying the beams have arrived. By the time I got here, I just live across the river, they had put all five beams up and in place exactly as you see them. It's amazing how fast this bridge and this highway and the St. Croix Crossing is coming up. I would encourage anybody that's in the area, come and see it like it is now because it will never look like this ever again in history. Come now, or join me and live vicariously through my eyes. Today, the Stillwater Bridge is a highway bridge. This is Highway 64 coming out of Minnesota. And then we drive over this lift bridge, which was built in the 1930s, going to Stillwater. Once the existing bridge is built, the St. Croix River Crossing Bridge, this will become a pedestrian-only bridge featuring bike paths and walking paths and connecting up to the St. Croix River Crossing. You go across the St. Croix River and arrive to Main Street, downtown Stillwater, Minnesota, United States of America. Yes, behind me is the Stillwater Lift Bridge, a bridge built in the 1930s. Come 2016, when the St. Croix River Crossing opens, 
This bridge will be closed, but it will not be removed because it is known, well, worldwide as a signature of Stillwater, Minnesota in the United States of America. This bridge will then turn into a pedestrian-only bridge with walking paths and bike paths connecting up to the brand new St. Croix River crossing. Should be fun. What you're looking at is Highway 64 coming out of the Wisconsin Bluffs. That's just where we were. And as we fade back, you can see the piers in the water for the St. Croix crossing minus the bridge. And of course, here's the work on Highway 36. You're looking at Highway 36 and the construction project of course, things have changed quite a bit in the last year. In case you forgot, here's what it looked like last year at this exact spot. Yes, hello and welcome to the St. Croix River Crossing update. This would be Labor Day 2013. And as you can see behind me, the building is progressing very, very nicely. They've taken Highway 36 over here, as you'll see in a minute, and they've dropped it down about 20 feet. They built a road where it used to be the gravel pits. And of course, now we have the beach road bridge, but we have no beach road. It has finally disappeared because they're gonna build a completely brand new bridge. So come with me as we explore and take a look at the St. Croix River Crossing update Labor Day weekend 2013 here in Minnesota. Shall we? We shall. As you can plainly see, Little different shot here of the Beach Road Bridge with Highway 36 going underneath. Now Beach Road Bridge isn't going to be here much longer. As you can see the road of Beach Road Bridge is completely gone because they're laying the pilings for this brand new bridge to be going under the modern freeway. And here's that new road. This used to be the gravel pits. And then over here as you can plainly see they are have taken Highway 36. That's the original Highway 36 over there going west. This is the eastbound one and now it has been dropped by 20 feet. As you may recall from one of our earlier episodes, we were on Beach Road and Beach Road Bridge, which is what this is here. This uh, goes over the top of Highway 36 going east and west. And as you also may recall from an earlier episode, what you're looking at here was East Highway 36 and an off-ramp now which have been completely removed. And as you can see they're beginning the pilings now for the brand new bridge and of course where the off-ramp is there is no road anymore. In fact Beach Road Bridge well that's where Beach Road was but now it's just an open hole going down to the continuing build site of the St. Croix River Crossing. This is where the modern bridge will be going as it goes across the St. Croix River into Holton, Wisconsin. You're looking at old Highway 36 and Beach Road Bridge. Beach Road Bridge has been completely removed and the highway completely filled in because Beach Road Bridge is now over here on the brand new Highway 36 connecting up to the St. Croix River Crossing and route to Wisconsin, which it turns into Highway 64 over there. For those of you following along in my series of videos, this is where we left off in Chapter 1. Back then, this was Highway 36 and route to Stillwater, of course. That has now changed. That is now all completely filled in. And of course, this forest next to Highway 36 has been here forever. And this was just an open field, but now they've redesigned Highway 95. And of course, there's those piers minus the bridge. That's where the superstructure to the St. Croix Crossing will be going. And as you can see, they've redesigned everything. This is the brand new version of Highway 36, which goes on both sides, east and west, and hooking up to the St. Croix Crossing and 95, going right to Bayport and going left into downtown Stillwater. 
Now what you're looking at is the new Beach Road Bridge, which has also been moved and brand new. And this is looking at east and west of Highway 36. Still in the initial stages, of course. And as we continue our pan to the left, this is where the old Beach Road Bridge completely taken out and completely filled in. What a difference a year makes. Last year, this was still basically a neighborhood. Of course, they've taken out all the houses, removed all the trees, dug everything out, and now this is the approach to the brand new St. Croix River Crossing. This will be Highway 36, hooking up to Highway 64 across the St. Croix River. As part of the Highway 36 reconstruction and retrofit, they're replacing the pipes that were originally put in the highway when the highway was built back in the 1950s. You're looking at East Highway 36 as we continue our pan. They are now doing the western portion of Highway 36 and very soon work will begin on the eastern portion of Highway 36 here in Stillwater, Minnesota. Come 2016, we will be standing underneath the St. Croix Crossing Bridge. These are the piers, of course, minus the superstructure itself, and the building is going on at an alarmingly fast rate. It's absolutely incredible. Up there, of course, is beyond that is Highway 95 and then Highway 36 intersecting with each other. These are the piers upon which the superstructure of the St. Croix River crossing are going to sit. So come 2016 onwards, we will actually be underneath the bridge itself. That's looking east towards the St. Croix River, where it turns into Highway 64 en route to New Richmond, Wisconsin on the St. Croix River crossing. Yes, as well as you can see, the piers, as they call them, is coming along nicely. This is what's going to be supporting the superstructure of the St. Croix River Crossing Bridge. Right now, we're filming this in 2014 springtime, uh, around Easter actually, and uh, they're just kind of doing the approach work on the Minnesota side over here and the Wisconsin side over here. And very soon though, this summer, they're planning rides on the riverboat with an engineer for ten dollars you can come and get out on the st croix river with an engineer and they explain exactly what's going on so if you're in the area take advantage of that i know you'll be seeing me on some of those cruises well come with me as we continue our journey on a bridge to the future yes we shall come 2016 this will be the st croix river crossing what we're standing on now is Highway 36 looking into Wisconsin. Of course, in Wisconsin, it turns into Highway 64. Well, yes, we've seen quite a bit today in this journey, which would be the summer of 2014 as the progress on the St. Croix River crossing is going along at a just a frenetic, marvelous pace. If you're in the area, make sure and come down and check it out. It's quite amazing and it is never gonna look like this ever again in history. Thank you once again for coming along on the journey on the third documentary is still at a bridge to the future. Make sure and check out for future installments. Could be on YouTube, could be on Facebook, might even be on St. Croix Valley Access channels. Till then, thanks for watching. Bye for now.